here you see the lights better from the pier 111. So if you drive into Bangkok, you see this from a far distance. So now you know where this comes from. A good evening. It's around seven o'clock and I'm here in the Gaysorn office tower. And today I want to give you an update regarding the skywalk. And the reason why I want to give you an update is because I noticed that a big part of the Bangkok skyline completely changed. And it changed because there are a lot more colors and a lot more lights. This is because the Pier 111 has opened and there is a new hotel, which is called the Moxie Hotel. And the best way to show you is to just walk the skywalk here, the Racha Prasong skywalk, and then go there. And in the meanwhile, it's very nice to see this in the evening as well. We are here in front of Central World. This already has a very futuristic feel, right? So let's walk the walk. And during the walk I will do the talk. If you want to visit the Skywalk, you can take the BTS to the Chitlam BTS station, walk through the Gaysorn Mall, and then you get here to the walk. Or you can take the boat. With the Klong and Sep boat, you can go to the Pratanam station, and from there, you can cross the road to the Novotel Hotel and get onto the Skywalk as well. Hello. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, nice. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> nice. It's always nice to meet people that appreciate what you're doing, right? In the back there you see the Bayok Tower. So this market here has been there already for over a year. So this is uh, basically a fixed market on the central world square. But let's keep walking the skywalk. The Big C had a big renovation last year. So inside there you will uh, see everything being new. The last time I was here was during Songkran. So what I mentioned, the Big C is completely renovated, but I'm gonna skip that for now. I wanna show you the big lights on the new buildings. This area in front here is always very busy because a lot of the public transport, a lot of the buses stop here and bring people away from work. Here you have a nice rooftop bar that I actually haven't shown yet. And to be really honest, I've never been there. This is one of the few rooftop bars that uh, Bangkok has that I haven't seen. So maybe I should give it a shot one time. So this here is the market with on top of it, you have the Moxie Hotel. And from here you cannot see it, but on the other side, you will notice that there is a lot of light going on there. And I'm not sure when the Moxie Hotel opened or if it's open already. So this is run by Marriott.
guess the lobby is downstairs. But I'm not gonna go inside of the hotel. Yeah, and this is one of those areas that completely changed and is revamped. And if you're talking about modern Bangkok, this is definitely a part of it. There, the Novotel also has a nice rooftop bar. You know, when I moved to Bangkok, these six towers here, they uh, were under construction and it was actually a kind of uh, dead project. And here you have a nice view of the big sea. So this is the Srimutri or Trimutri shrine and I know that I've said it many times before but uh, people that are looking for love can come here and pray and hope that they find the right one. I made a video here a couple of years ago when they were constructing this whole area so uh, I will actually put a link in there as well. So here you see the Moxie Hotel and there is the Pier 111. The Pier 111 is an office, a shared office building, it's a mixed use building. And the market. a little bit and that's because it's the hot season even though in the evening we don't have the sun it gets uh, quite humid and quite hot so the park is already closed I think they close at 6.30 or something. For me, you have a nice view of the new part of the Central World Mall. this new part is because we came back from the islands and we flew to Suvanabum and when we drove into the city I noticed these lights here and I couldn't really place the exact location and then I realized that it's the new Moxie Hotel and if I look good I see that all the lights are on so I guess the hotel is running and uh, yeah it's always nice to see how the city is evolving So the good thing about this skywalk is that in the rainy season it protects you from the rain and during the hot season it protects you from the sun. So it's definitely more comfortable to walk here than uh, on street level. So here you have an entrance to the Platinum Mall and I will do that one another time. station on the Klong 
2.7 and here you see the lights better from the pier 111 so if you drive into Bangkok you see this from a far distance so now you know where this comes from let's go down here We have a nice street market as well. So from here, you have a nice view of all the buildings and the lights here on Petpuri Road. And then of course here, the Pier 111 and the Moxie Hotel. Yeah, so I just wanted to give an update from the Skywalk and show you from which buildings all these new lights are coming. If you enjoyed this update, feel free to subscribe. You know I will keep you up to date about anything that goes on in Bangkok. And see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh...